Greg Chick, Ramona's Plumber. Today I'm going to show you how to replace an existing circulation pump on a water heater. An existing circulation pump at a water heater usually means that there's a third pipe, a dedicated return pipe. Let me show you where it is. There's a pipe that comes out of the wall, is either at the bottom or up at the top of the tank area, up on the wall up there, and it comes out, it goes into the pump, this pump pulls the water from that pipe, which goes all the way to the distant bathroom or the distant fixture, wherever it is. And it pulls this water, it pushes it back into the tank, and that pressure allows it to go back out the hot side, all the way to the distant fixture, and again. And that's the circulation, or as they say, recirculation. To replace this pump, though, what somebody had intended was that you could shut off this valve, shut off this valve, keep the water in the tank, keep the water in the house, replace the pump, and turn it back on and go. Well, as you can see, this isn't going to happen that way because this valve is bad, this check valve has got corrosion on it, and I don't really like the way this is set up. I'm going to show you how to upgrade your system, if you have a circ pump, to a professional Aquastat temperature controlled system with unions, and the most efficient system possible. Since we're going to upgrade this system, we're not going to count on these valves shutting off. We're not going to fit another pump like this in here. We're going to redo all this, and when we get done, you'll see why. But because I'm going to take this valve out and this valve out, I'm going to have to drain the water heater because I'm going to have to take this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the gas to the water heater so the burner doesn't come on, and uh, you know, waste gas. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to turn off the water heater, which is usually on the cold inlet to the tank. This is a ball valve. It turns quarter turn. Turn that off. And then I've put, put a hose on the drain to the water tank and we're going to open up that. Now, water purged out for a second, but it may be vapor locked. It may, it may uh, not even be draining at all right now. So to allow it to drain, it's like taking a thumb off of a straw, you know, in a Coke or something. We're going to let air into this by opening a faucet on the hot side in the closest fixture to, 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 to this tank. Okay, we're going to open this up. Okay, here's our upgrade pump. It's a Grunfuss, and I'll show you a few of the features. It has unions that make it easy to remove just the pump and leaving the piping alone. And those unions have built-in shutoff valves so that when you do do that, you can stop the water on either side of the pump and stay dry. It has a thermostat setting here, properly called an aquastat, that this thing allows the pump to know, according to your setting, just what the minimum temperature before it starts pumping again will be. And then this uh, the control head, which does rotate for your visual pleasure, uh, sets the time in which you need this to be operating uh, on that thermostatic setting, what time, what hours of the day. And if you read your owner's manual, it goes into detail on all of that. screw in our red brass nipple. That may look dark and it looked like iron, but it's not. That is old red brass. And we're going to screw a T onto that, which is also a red brass T. Made in USA.
might want to use a So I put a little bit of Teflon tape on there. Screw that Wolverine brass drain valve. Notice it says made in the USA there. This is a high pressure, high grade bib with an easy to use handle. I'm going to go one more turn and I'm going to leave it with the screw for the isolation shutoff valve aiming out so that it could be accessed, seen, and used. This crescent wrench is not. Okay, now we're going to put the arrows down because we're bringing the water back to the tank. And we're going to remember to use our gaskets, which are in our box. There's our arrows going down. There's our pump with the controls rotated up and our thermostat rotated up and it will plug in there. And then our gasket. And don't forget we have a built-in check valve. So we're covered on that. I need one short nipple with some Teflon tape on it. Okay, I'm going to put the set screw, the shutoff valve, screw out. Tighten the union down. I'm going to use this flex onto there. Now I'm going to use the, the Pro Press tool because I'm fancy. This is the same or better as soldering. The other fittings available are push fit shark bite. They're brass. They take temperature and they just push fit on. They can be used if they're used correctly. Ah. 
pop. Pro press. For $3,000, you too can be happy. So now we're going to turn the water back on, fill up the tank, and once the tank is full, and only when it's full, you turn the gas back on to the burner. And I uh, set the temperature, and as soon as the tank heats up, this will have your hot water circulated. Now I'm going to insulate this line because it's going to be circulating, it's going to be warm, and it's going to be wanting to lose heat. We don't want to do that. So I've taken a piece of pipe insulation and I've cut some grooves in it. And you'll see how it's going to make a nice J. And you could just do that with a knife, sharp knife or a little mini hacksaw. And I'm going to tape it up with some tape. You can use the uh, 10 mil Pasco pipe tape or you can use some duct tape just so that uh, this stuff doesn't fall apart a year later and you get lazy and let it lose heat. that this insulation is old And this concludes how to replace a circulator pump on a hot water system that has a dedicated return line. If your system doesn't have that dedicated return line, see my other video on how to get instant hot water without that by putting the pump at the distant fixture. And for more plumbing ideas and advice, go to DIYplumbingadvice.com. And while you're there, click on some of those ads so that they can pay me and you don't have to. Can you do it? Yes, you can, and I can help. Thanks for watching.